everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich, and tonight, among the players that will be on the ice is the hit leader for a particular team, and I guess it's a noticeable thing. You have to have role players execute and accept, Doc, and he certainly does that with his physical play, and when you're on the other side, you know when he is on the ice, but there's different ways to change momentum in a hockey game, and certainly the way that he plays physically certainly is one of those ways. Giordano's mindset is pretty simple. Hit or be hit. That's why he leads his team in hits. But you can't run out of position to make those hits. He's got a pretty good chance to have an impact on this game. And now we turn to the last lines of defense. The goalies. Elliott's the man with the heaviest equipment and responsibility tonight for the Flames. It's a terrific season for him reflected in these numbers. And how he got to these numbers has been impressive. Let's see if he does it again tonight. John Gibson, American-born Pittsburgh, spent two years in the U.S. National Team Development Program before spending two seasons with the Kitchener Rangers of the Ontario Hockey League. Great mobility, fills a lot of space at 6'3", 2'10". Getzlaff's the starter here. That means he is expected to set the tempo. All cool just underway in Calgary. The Ducks lost their last game. I was talking to a couple players before the game, and they know exactly what went wrong. They're looking to improve on that. From the outside, to Monaghan. Gets across, looks over his options. Great glove grab. Down the many steps we go to the ice level. Here's Ray Ferraro. Elliott's had an excellent season so far. He's got a high winning percentage, way more wins than losses. He's made enough saves that gives his team a chance to get their feet underneath them when they don't play very well. But he's been pretty consistent this year. We'll see if the opposition can get somebody in his eyes tonight, make it difficult for him to see the puck. Okay, Ray, thank you. Gets in. What'll he do? Makes that play deep. And snapped up by Getzlaff. To Fowler. It. Score! Didn't take long, did it? Fowler scored a lot of goals in this type of situation. This might be the best one ever. Elliott's not going to stop that one, Edzo. It's delivered so perfectly just inside the post. Anaheim's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. The Ducks win the draw. What's next? Carries it to the corner. Chip to Kessler. Turned a shot on net. Oh, and he's hammered. He scores! With the goal scorer right in front, it was tough for the goaltender to pick up the shot off the backhand. Elliott's positioning is perfect. He's in the butterfly. It looks like he's got most of the net covered, but that is an outstanding shot. Just a hair over four minutes played here in the first. The Ducks have widened their lead. It's now two goals. Calgary's got it off the draw at center. assisted by number six. Right along the blue line to Whiteman. Oh, and it's off the mark. Looking to Kessler. It's an onside play. Scooped up by Brody. Passing one off now to Versteeg. Pitching it to Bennett. Let's it go. Snapped out of the air. And he'll cover. I don't know how the shooter can do much more than that. The goaltender made an excellent save on a great bid for goal. Calgary's got it again. Didn't get through. Carried out of his own end toward center. The Ducks wheel it up the wing. Slides it to the point to Ritchie. Terrific hand eye. Gets in, looks over his options here. Blocked. 
directing that one to Vermet. Around through the corner. And he's held up and pinned. Backlund's carrying it through center. Tries to get it on net. Turned aside off the pad. In their own end, moving along. Grab! Great chance ahead! Slid back across from one point to the other. Into the corner with that pass to Ritchie. Really good deflection. No harm. Let's it fly. Flex that leg right out there and blocked it. Snaps it to Botman. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Through the corner. Oh, pocket pick. Nicely into the zone. Shoots one. Slid to Garvin. And a long pass straight up to Silverberg. Lots on that. The great glove save, and he keeps it. You can't ask for a better opportunity in the scoring zone. What a great glove. Let's it go. Got his pad on that one. Takes that pass from the other point. Can you save Pink? On to Hamilton. Gets in. What will he do? Oh, what a stop. Everyone knows it, dog. That was a tremendous save, and even the shooter realizes how good that was. Gibson's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save, and he makes it look really easy. A little over six minutes to go. Just recently, another goal, and so the lead is two. The draw, the tie-up, and his team prevails. Up the left side to Raquel. Gains the blue line. Around through the corner. And at an angle, paddled aside. And he holds on. The shooter thought he'd made a pretty good shot here, but the goaltender's in good shape, makes the stop, and he's able to deny the shooter on what he thought was an excellent chance. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in. Nicely into the zone. Good hand to eye. And the reach of the stick. Puck held near the point. Wonderful block. Up the wing still with possession. Good job with the poke check. And this play is whistled down. It is offside. Won the faceoff. Snapping a pass to Versteeg. He gains the zone. Rounded again. Blockered away. Pass cut. Strong play. Thompson's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Bennett's going to the box. A player hit the ice and the call on them is tripping. Now this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck. But he tripped up the attacking player. Anaheim's power play opportunity number is one. This one. The first one. You only get one chance to make a good first impression. See if they do. Play is stopped. And now we'll hear the call. Calgary's got two on this one for tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carry here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five-on-three power play, and it begins now. The Flames with a clean win on the draw. Oh, my! They're not gonna let... And so the target was a star, but the star's got a friend. He's got some help, he's got some muscle. He doesn't have to play like that. on the 10-point must system. It's an easy call. You can hear the crowd. They knew who won that fight. 
The Flames are up on their feet, banging the boards. I don't know that the building's been louder than it is right now. Ducks prevailing on the faceoff. <laughs> Terrific pass save. Oh, that was a great chance. A five-minute major repel to Perry. Terrific determination by Brody. Calgary setting things up in the defensive zone. Fires hung right over him and couldn't get it passed. Oh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. They will get a breather shortly, but what will happen next? In their own end, making headway. And they are in. Back near the blue line to Dupre. On the outside, a shot. Terrific stop, but it's loose. Pressure now. Calgary survived it. Back even. The first 20 minutes are in the books. The Ducks are up two to nothing. Now for a look at the shots on goal in the first period. 10 for Anaheim and eight for Calgary. Be sure to get next year's season tickets now at this year's locations in front. The Ducks have a two goal lead and the one that made it two was this one. We'll be right back. Don't miss your opportunity to pick up the best locations for that season. Stop by section 144 on the concourse. One period down, another period beckons here. What did you think of the first? Calgary's lucky to still be in this game after the first period. They had turnover after turnover. I'm sure the coaches addressed that problem in the intermission. We have begun the second period. A shot turned aside. The Ducks ready an attack back in the defensive zone. Gathered up again by Brody. Puck is thrown to Froelich. Shoots. Just missed the net. My dad once told me, Doc, if you don't hit the net, you can't score. Puck loose now picked up. Pitching this one to Perry. Onside. The Flames continue on in their own end. Laid on to Froelich. And now it's directed to Silverberg. Chip to Raquel. Trying to go to Goudreau. And he's still got that puck up the wing. Good stick down on the ice, so nothing good happening there. Picks it up in his own end. Into the attacking end. Takes a shot. Score! taking a wrist shot it's all about weight transfer transferring your weight from your back foot to your front foot when you're shooting that puck that's exactly what happened there well he can't get his pad down quick enough to make this stop really good shot as you mentioned eddie i think that's one he should probably stop the flames have gotten back to within one loads of time left in the game we're in the second period anaheim's on the move hoping to wheel it up the wing Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Boot it aside. Slid just inside the line to Engelin. Moving it to Ritchie. Four minutes, 38 seconds. Let's it go, and it's driven away again. Wonderful save. What a skill level there. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Deflected off the blocker. Snaps it on goal. 
But Sarister, big time save, big time shooter. Gibson's lucky, just got a piece of that, but it was enough to make the stop. A little over seven minutes gone. Anaheim's given up a goal, still have a margin though. And that margin is one. Two sticks together, it goes to the offense. Flings it, and that one turned aside. Puck covered, whistle blown. I don't know how the shooter can do much more than that. The goaltender made an excellent save on a great bid for goal. Calgary's got another win. A wonderful save. That save was much more difficult than it looked. Slid to Cogliano. Anaheim's controlling play now up the wing. That's a good solid poke check. Gains the zone. Gathered in by Backlund. Let's it go. Wide of the net. Pass attempt to Raquel. Looking to Cogliano. A shot. Nicely padded away. Passing one off now to chase on. And he gains the zone. Pointed to Giordano. Drill. Score! And this one is tied! Oh, that shot was heavy and dangerous. Good thing it didn't hit anybody. And so sometimes your best isn't enough. That is a perfect shot up over the glove hand. The goaltender just was not able to get to it. Calgary's got this game even up now. And we're still in the second period. Anaheim's prevailed again on the faceoff of the neutral zone. Into the end of attack. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. Slides it to the point to Hamilton. Big drive! Score! That's three in a row! That puck looked like it got deflected right in front of the goaltender. I'm sure Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, you're going to see the goalie's in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. Over eight minutes to be skated in the second. The Flames have a one-goal lead. They recently broke the tie. To Perry. To get slapped. Say, who it's there, squeezed for a whistle. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Giordano's earlier fight is really the only sign of life his team had early. But since that time, they've been the more aggressive of the teams, and the context of the game has completely changed. That's good, Ray. I think he sure has his fans out there. He's got a face-off win. Pitching it to Goudreau. Moved along and in. Good shooting place. Got a piece of it with the glove. Looking from the corner. The puck taken hold up by Perry. Directing that one to Getzlaff. Possession established on the pickup by Brody. Snapping a pass to Weidman. Let's it go. Say, the X has tripped up. That should be a penalty. Calgary is only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. The player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. This has been a power play that's gotten a lot of times, but no goals. Maybe that'll change with this one. Beat him on that one. Fires! Oh, what a pad save! 
A shot. They were down, but not out. The goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with the quick release. Elliott's going to be unhappy with his players in front of him. They make a huge air that leaves the scoring zone wide open. Anaheim's got this game tied here late in the second period. Lots of time left. Lots of exciting play ahead. Calgary's got another face-off win. Hope checked away by Kessler. Puck is thrown to Raquel. Anaheim's carrying on up the wing. Turned right away with the poke check by Bennett. On to Brower. And in flight over the line. Puts one on. Shoots one. Outstanding save. Just on reputation. You can smell it all there. That play went offside. Gibson's able to make an excellent stop here. That's a difficult scoring chance. The shooter thought he had a beat. Calgary's got another face-off win. Pitching this one to Hamilton. And he picks it up. Trying to get something generated up the wing. Gonna get a penalty, it's a delayed call. The Flames are penalized two minutes for interference. You gotta be in control, you just can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have a puck. Anaheim's power play has not been a shambles, it's been very good here, and it gets another chance. Calgary's got a defensive zone win. The Flames with possession up the wing. The cursed goals are the ones in the first minute and the last. Will we see one here? Now it's directed to Getzlaff. Gains the zone. Terrific left save, but it's loose. And the puck now possessed by Fowler. Trying to go to Perry. Jabbed away by Hamilton. Perry's got to try to simplify his game there. Just too much stick handling. That's two periods in the books. One more to go, but a rest comes first. Through two periods, an enormous number of shots on goal. It reads 22 for the Flames and 17 for Anaheim. The Ducks got this goal late in the period, and that tied the game. So they are on an upswing as we go to break. Power play gets a chance to operate here at the start of the period. Many yards gain to Brody. Moving it to Perry. Anaheim's special team on the power play was not special. Good pad save. The Flames looking to head man up the wing. From the outside. Save. Lucked out of the defensive zone. Pass attempt to Perry. He's in on an onside play. And the linesmen were watching very carefully. That is an offside. Well, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. Anaheim's collected another victory on the faceoff. Looking to Silverberg. 
Back near the blue line to Getzlaff. Strong shooter against a strong goaltender, and the guy with a trapper won. Puck picked up here. Shoots one. He scores! The goal scorer put that puck in a shooting position, let it go, and beat the goaltender clean. Low stick side used to be an area that you shot all the time, but now that the goaltenders are in the butterfly, it's not as easy to beat, but this one goes through him pretty quickly. Calgary's gotten the lead here, breaking the tie in the third period. What a raucous ride to the finish we're going to have now. The Flames with a center ice faceoff win. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Flexed out that pad and got it. A cover and play is stopped. The Flames' center of offense is this player. He is among the highest total points in the league. He has such creativity. If it's not him scoring the goal, he's so good to play with as his wingers just have to get open. Calgary's got it. Shoots it on. That hits somebody. Decides to go back to his own end to try and get out. Back on his stick. Oh, what a glove he's got there. And he'll hold on. Whoa, he was able to get the glove on this excellent scoring chance. Looked like he had him beat, but he's in good shape and he makes an incredible glove stop. We're just under five minutes have been played. Calgary has recently broken the tie. Their lead is one. The Ducks in their own end have control of the puck. Two goals so far, Doc. He's out there fine for the third one to give him the hat trick. And still with it in their own end. Calgary setting things up at center. Let's a shot go. Puck covered, whistle blown. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Defensive zone win. Heads on behind. One timer. Oh, what a terrific save in close. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Walking a thin line near the border there. Flings it. And it's turned aside. Gathered in by Brody. Passing one off now to Bennett. Up the wing still with possession. Dogged determination there. But good pad stop. Oh, what a break. That shot hit somebody. Great block. Smart recovery by Brower. Wonderful save of an all-star shot. Good quick poke check there. Skates out with it. Skates it across the blue line. He scores! That's two unanswered goals. Pretty simple from this area of the ice. You're shooting as hard as you can. Gibson's attempt at stopping this was to make himself as big as possible and hope it hit him. Calgary's got that neutral zone faceoff. Gets across, looks over his options. Terrific interception. Flames in their own end, setting things up. It all along! Great save! Propel to Garvin. The Ducks want to generate something up the wing. A shot! Big pad save! Trying for it! Terrific shot, but a great point-blank save. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save! Taken behind by Chason. One timer. Great glove save, but it's loose. He covers, and a faceoff will follow. Every once in a while, you get a chance from a grade A spot. Not often do you get a chance to shoot the slapper, and even less times does the goalie make the stop. Just under eight minutes to go. Calgary's advantage in this game has just been enhanced. 
It's a pair of goals. The Flames win that faceoff. And a good save there. He covers and holds on. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. The Flames prevail again. To Goudreau. Hatchets one. Great save in close. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Great job on a cut pass. Back on his stick. The Ducks in their own end in possession as they travel. Laid on to get slap. Back in his defensive end to get it. Pitching it to Goudreau. Gets in. What'll he do? Fires. Got in the way of that one. Flips that wrist shot. That puck's still alive, but a great glove save. Carried from the defensive zone toward center. The poke check worked. And they've got it again. Anaheim's carrying on up the wing. Skill play by Brody. Directing that one to Versteeg. It's an onside play. Shoots. Block that one. Corralled by Brody. Trying to take the heat off. They've iced it. Anaheim's fans got back on their feet after watching the replay of that massive save on the big board. I don't think we're going to see a bigger save than that the rest of the night. And they've won that draw. Hammers won. Approaching the final minute in this game. Diagonally to Weidman. Oh, broke it up. Snapping a pass to Kessler. Gets in, looks over his options here. Anaheim's pulling their goalie for the extra man. Shot. Oh, and he misses. Oh, what a great chance. That would have really put the pressure on. Net open. Score! puts this one away, everybody should head for the exits. I'll probably put a bow on this one, Ed, so that'll be it. Neutralized face-off win. His fifth of the season. Score Let's it go. Club gets play stopped. Never satisfied, never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He better be thinking about getting number three. Monahan's won again. His team is winning. All's good. Cursed by a broken stick. Anaheim's accelerating ahead through the neutral zone. Chip. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Slid to Lindholm. Franks won. And that one turned aside. And that's the end of the game. It was a great time. Calgary's got the win, and their winning streak keeps going. This team has been hot as of late. They are following their game plan. It's resulting in wins. And again, we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the evening as much as we did. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.